Plans getting finalized tonight for inside and outside New Hope Baptist Church in Newark. Parts of Newark, New Jersey's biggest city tonight, virtually closed off to fans. Access will be limited for much of the weekend. Eyewitness News cameras were there tonight when Whitney Houston's family, including her daughter and mother, said their private goodbyes at the funeral home. And on Sunday, a private burial reportedly at the cemetery where her father is buried. Tonight, police and workers preparing for that. Eyewitness News reporter N.J. Burkett is at the church with new details of tomorrow's funeral service. N.J. And Sade, it may have been the most moving moment we've witnessed all week. Whitney Houston's mother and her 18-year-old daughter stepping into the funeral home hand in hand. A scene few people could have imagined just one week ago tonight. Outside the Wiggum funeral home tonight, Carol and Wiggum greeted well-wishers on behalf of the family, offering memorial photographs of Whitney Houston. How are they holding up? To the best of their ability. And it's not easy? No. no. By no means. By no means. Not easy. The wake this evening lasted two hours. A police escort arrived bearing Whitney Houston's family and a handful of close friends, including her mentor, Clive Davis. Whitney Houston's daughter, Bobby Christina Brown, stepped from a limousine, greeted Sissy Houston, and grandmother and granddaughter entered the funeral home hand in hand. The church service will be private, invitation only, and will draw some of the biggest names in music, film, and television. Kevin Costner, Beyonce, Oprah Winfrey, Stevie Wonder, and Aretha Franklin. The Newark Police Department, already stretched to the limit by the city's rising crime rate, is deployed here like an army. Several streets around the church and the funeral home will be closed. No cars or pedestrians between Norfolk and Hoyt Streets, as well as Sussex and Central Avenue. Get some rest. Fans of Whitney Houston who have converged on Newark Central Ward wish they could attend, but they understand why they can't. We're so sorry that we couldn't get the public room, but you have to, what the family would like to have, let them do what they would like to do. You know, you don't know what they're feeling. You don't know what they're going through. 13 hours now before the service. As you can see, some of the street closures are still in, are already in effect. We're being kept about half a block from the church as it is right now. Newark officials clearly determined to prevent any disruptions while their city is in the national spotlight. Live tonight, Newark, New Jersey, NJ Burkett, Channel 7, Eyewitness News.